In today's video, I'm going to be comparing all four variants of the Garnier Fructis hair food. When I picked up my first Garnier hair food, I picked up the papaya variant because I bought it on Amazon. I saw that Amazon was offering the most discounts. And also, if you read all of the reviews on Amazon, you'll see that people say that most of the other variants smell really artificial and the papaya variant is the most pleasant smelling. And since fragrances really tend to trigger my migraines, I thought I'd err on the side of caution and pick up the papaya variant. But then if you check out the reviews on Nika, you will see that everyone is raving about the banana variant. No one's complaining about the smell. And so I thought to myself, did I make a mistake picking the right variant for me? My hands were itching. I saw a buy two, get three offer on Nika. And so I picked up the other three variants. I've tested all of them out. So this is like a battle between all four variants. Hopefully this video is gonna help you pick the right one for you. This is the Garnier hair food in the banana variant. First off, I did not find the fragrance upsetting. It was totally fine. Didn't have any issues with it. And these are what my results look like with the product. On this wash day, I used it as a conditioner, a deep conditioner and a leave-in conditioner. As a conditioner, would I use it again? Yes, the slip is really good, but more on this point later on in the video. As a deep conditioner, would I use it again? No, it's too light for my high porosity hair. As a leave-in conditioner, would I use it again? Absolutely not. It is way too light for my hair. In the footage, you can clearly see how dry my hair looks. On the curly girl method, this is the driest that my hair has ever looked on day one. On the upside, you can see that the definition is really even. It gave me very uniform looking waves. But sadly, the product is simply not moisturizing enough for me. You've seen my results using level 2 products before and you have seen shine on my hair with the results. What I can say about this product is that it's probably way lighter than even a level two. Next, moisture retention. Sadly, there was no moisture to begin with, and so obviously there was none to retain. Next, this is the Garnier hair food in the macadamia variant. On this wash day, I used it as a conditioner, a deep conditioner, and a leave-in conditioner. Did I find the fragrance upsetting? Sort of. It was slightly on the warmer side. It did not trigger my migraines, but it did trigger my allergies. My nose was red and itchy the entire day and I kept sneezing. If we don't factor in my allergies, would I use this as a conditioner again? The answer is yes, because the product has great slip. I was able to detangle my hair very, very, very easily. But more on this point later on in the video. As a deep conditioner, would I use it again? Nope, it is not nearly heavy enough for my hair. I need way more moisture wise. As a leave-in conditioner, what did I find? My hair looks sort of dry. I did use the Arata oil to add moisture, but it still looks slightly parched. On the upside, I think I got the most shrinkage with this variant, but sadly, moisture wise, this product simply did not cut it for me. Moisture retention during the week was also really low. When there's no moisture retention, the hair tends to tangle up a lot, making detangling on the next wash day a complete nightmare. So as a leave-in, I probably wouldn't use this product again. Why? Because there are better options out there. Next, we have the Garnier hair food in the papaya variant. Was the fragrance revolting? Nope. This mask actually smells like food, so much that I wanted to eat it. And these are my results using the product. As a conditioner, would I use it again? Yes. The slip was actually really nice. But wait a minute. Didn't you hear me say that I didn't like the slip of this product in the first video that I did on the Garnier hair food? That's right, more on this later in the video. As a deep conditioner, would I use it again? The answer is no, it is simply too light for my hair. As a leave-in conditioner, here are my thoughts on the product. I think the moisture in this product is good. Moisture retention during the week is also good. But definition and shrinkage wise, it is just about decent. Nothing extraordinary. Would I use it again as a leave-in conditioner? Probably. This is the Garnier hair food in the aloe vera variant. Did I find the fragrance revolting? Nope, it was totally fine. And these are my results using the product. Would I use it again as a conditioner? Yes, absolutely. The slip was amazing. As a deep conditioner, would I use it again? Nope, 
Why? Because I need something way heavier. As a leave-in conditioner, what did I think? Moisture and shine is definitely the best out of all of the variants that I've used. Definition is also quite nice. Does this product give me the most shrinkage that I've ever gotten on my hair? Nope. But it's decent. Out of all of the variants, I'm most likely to use this one again as a leave-in conditioner. I wanted to make a point about the slip. You heard me say that I didn't like the slip of the papaya variant in a previous video. Recently, I went through a disaster of a haircut, which is why you see that my hair is way shorter. But ultimately, it is what it is. It's hair, it'll grow back. Point is that I've taken a huge hit in the length department. But why am I mentioning all of this in this video? Because I want to make a point about slip. This is what I found. When my hair was longer, I did not enjoy the slip of the papaya hair food. It was very average. Now that my hair is way, way shorter, I've had a eureka moment. I've realized that slip is also subjective because my experience with it has changed so drastically. Detangling my shorter hair is so ridiculously pleasant. All the variants worked so incredibly well. It felt like butter. I was able to detangle my hair in a matter of minutes. No struggles, no hassles. I worked in small sections and it was so, so, so easy. Wet detangling used to be one of the most tedious parts of my wash day in the past. Now that my hair's shorter, I sail through the step like it's no biggie. So that being said, let's take a look at the ingredients of each. I've color coordinated all the products. So you have the papaya variant in orange, you have the banana in yellow, aloe vera's in green, and macadamia's in brown. As you can see, all the variants do contain coconut. Fair warning to people who have an issue with this ingredient. I spoke about this in my protein products for wavy and curly hair videos, so I'm not gonna repeat those points. As you can see, the ingredient lists of these products are pretty similar, barring a few unique ingredients. The aloe and papaya variants are quite similar, and the macadamia and banana variants are also quite similar. That was pretty much it for this video. If you gain value, don't forget to thumbs up the video, leave me a comment, share my video so that it can reach more people. And if you're looking for more textured hair content, feel free to check out these videos right here.